It's been roughly 19 years since the last time Princess Peach has had her solo outing in Super Princess Peach, a game where her overwhelming emotions gave her powers. Needless to say, while the gameplay concept was okay, the story behind it hasn't aged too well, but luckily Nintendo is back with a new attempt and revitalizing the character as her own in Princess Peach Showtime. Like Luigi's Mansion with Luigi and WarioWare with Wario, Princess Peach Showtime is Nintendo's newest attempt at giving this iconic character a bigger personality and character development beyond being a damsel in distress. It's a refreshing take on the character. Princess Peach Showtime ignores a lot of the tropes of the Mario series. You're not in the Mushroom Kingdom this time, and outside of Peach and some Toads, the rest of the cast are original characters. Showtime's story begins with Princess Peach attending the Sparkle Theater. It's a showroom where its inhabitants throw various types of plays together under one roof. Unfortunately, the show is cut short when the evil sorceress, Grape and her sour bunch, crash the party, capture the audience at the theater, and cause Peach to lose her crown in the process. It's a whirlwind of a mess, and now it's up to Peach to save the day. She's not alone though, shortly after the commotion, she finds and befriends Stella, the Sparkle Theater's guardian who wants to help. Together, the duo make their way into each of the various plays at the theater in search of the Sparklas at the end of each one. While the new characters are a bit shallow, I enjoyed the new story and approach to Princess Peach. A lot of the writing here gives her more personality and growth beyond just being a princess. She's a hero. It made me more excited to experience what else she was capable of, and ultimately I think Showtime does that extraordinarily well. The structure of the game is split up between plays across various floors for a total of 16 plays. In addition, Peach has her own transformations that help her navigate the plays. While she may be a princess at heart, depending on the play she enters, she'll transform entirely both in costume and abilities. Having levels take place in plays is a lovely idea that gives the overall design and atmosphere of each level a unique feeling from other Nintendo games. It gives Showtime this charm that left me smiling anytime the show floor would 180 into a brand new stage. It exudes this childlike wonder that's reminiscent of Kirby's epic yarn in Yoshi's Woolly World. Throughout the 8 hour playthrough, you'll come across 10 different Peach transformations, each with their own powers and abilities that flesh out a bit more of the combat and traversal. Each costume also has its own story told across three acts, new sets, and music. That is yet to mention the remarkable costume design that flawlessly showcases Peach's attitude. Each of the costumes also introduced their own gameplay style. Detective Peach solves mysteries, Ninja Peach acts as a fun stealth game, and Cowboy Peach is a fun sort of action hack and slash. These levels aren't particularly challenging and feel like they cater to a younger audience. Not all transformations are created equal as some leave a grander impact than others, and depending on your taste and gameplay genres, you might lean more towards stealth, action, or mystery, and so on. Keeping in mind that these are simple takes on the genres, some may come off as too shallow for an older audience, but at least in the eyes of a younger one, I think it could be a good introduction to people playing games for the first time. Especially if you have a younger sibling or a child who just watched the Super Mario Bros. movie, and now wants to get into games. Much like Nintendo's other games, Princess Peach Showtime does deliver on some fun and imaginative boss fights that, again, aren't really difficult, but are still fun. I think that's something Nintendo has always excelled at, especially in Pikmin, Splatoon, and Luigi's Mansion, so I'm happy to see it continue here. On top of the bosses and traditional levels are added collectibles that you can use to unlock cosmetics for Peach. While I was into the idea and did actively try to unlock more cosmetics, Having to go back on a 10 minute level just to reach a specific collectible at times felt more tiring than rewarding. The last few major first party releases from Nintendo have been quite the showcase for the console. Mario vs Donkey Kong was a beautiful looking remake and Super Mario Wonder was a marvelous reinvention of the popular 2D series. Princess Peach Showtime on the other hand, while pretty and filled with character, does struggle to run at a consistent performance. Character models are blurry at times, frame rates are inconsistent, and the game just generally struggles to run. It's running on Unreal 4, the same engine used to run Pikmin 4, which had an impressive performance on Switch. Sadly, this is but a stark reminder of how old the Switch is getting and how in dire need the developers, including the creators of the hardware, are for more powerful tech, especially when playing in handheld mode where it seems to struggle the most. With that said, because of the simple gameplay and difficulty, the inconsistent performance wasn't detrimental to the gameplay as much as it would be if this were an FPS or a more time-sensitive game. Overall, Princess Peach Showtime is a troubled but fun reinvention of the Princess Peach character, one that fleshes out her background, makes her incredibly more interesting, and almost acts as an introduction to various genres for a younger or new gaming audience. I wish performance was better and that there were harder difficulty options, but that ultimately didn't sour the game enough for me to stop enjoying it. While I personally didn't gravitate towards replaying it, incentives like new costumes and collectibles give any replay value for anyone looking to 100% it. If you enjoyed the Kirby series, for example, despite it being easy, I think you'll get a lot of joy out of this game, even at older ages. 
while the younger crowd is bound to enjoy the imaginative new take on Peach.